Well, Bannock County Commissioners are deciding how much money they can contribute to the SAUSA fund. That fund will bring a federal attorney in to prosecute high crime cases. Eyewitness News reporter Caitlin Lukitas is live in Pocatello in our newsroom there to explain where the county stands on this. Uh, Caitlin, what's the current concern? Well, the counties and cities part of this partnership are all on board, but the current concern felt by, felt by everyone at this moment is the financial agreement. So how much will this cost each of us, and how much is the state willing to put forward? So today, Bannock County Commissioners announced they will review their budget. Prosecuting attorney Stephen Herzog says the state will be asked to pay 75 percent, while the partnership will split the remaining costs based on population size. Now, Herzog says bringing in another federal attorney will help save the county money. If we can access the federal system mm -hmm. and prosecute in the federal system, then those people go out of state to be incarcerated and the state doesn't have to pay the cost of their incarceration. Now, this will all come down to what the state legislature decides this upcoming legislative session. Now, after that's done, the, the partnership will reconvene and decide if that's feasible. Reporting live in Pocatello, I'm Caitlin Lukitas. Caitlin, thank you for the report. Uh, the Treasure Valley implemented uh, this $100,000 program in 2007, and they say that since that time, it has uh, significantly decreased the gang-related crimes.